hello welcome back to mrs always right channel hello everybody happy sunday and welcome to this wonderful channel this channel is god's own channel everything about this channel is all about god how is everybody doing today is sunday so i'm coming here to share something related to scripture bible reading and also words of encouragement words of hope and words of peace words of kindness and also words to keep us strong in the lord words that will give you strength to carry on in life so this channel as well is dedicated to god as well so my aim here is to come in this this channel sorry just have a bit of this channel to give god all the glory and praises and acknowledge him in everything we do so i just have to put this message down so sorry about that so i'm just going to go through what i am about to say just i don't have a lot of i don't know which people are pinging pinging in my phone so today is going to be a wonderful day and my aim is here to give praise to god and encourage everybody to praise god no matter what we are doing and how what we are facing in this world all is about praising god for he is worthy of our praise remember when the praises go up the blessings will come down so we have to get our praise on so today prayer is that we just have to thank god for another day in our life so we ask god we ask god to fill us with peace that will give us strength through the day to face whatever comes our way and also help us have a positive attitude and not allow things to trigger hunger in us and let us and let this peace rise up and saturate our minds and help us guard our mouth with what we speak because sometimes in this world our mouth is very very sharp and comes out with so many things that can cause distress to other people so let the whole world sing about this new day and let's praise god with the heart of gratitude and let the heaven rejoice with us and let the oceans glorify the creator and also let the people know that violence and hate have no voice in the songs of praise the fear is driven away by courage and by faith so that is what will drive away fear of hatred and fear of violence in our life and let's let the beating of your heart be in our heart let the beating of the heart of god be in our heart and also let us rejoice that this is the day the god has made and we sing praises to him jesus is a melody in this day and we will rejoice and be glad in him may you all walk in the fullness of god's blessing our footsteps 
are a dot of God. They seem lead and guide us through our joy this day. May the favor of God and the provisions be brought forth to each of us. Have a blessed and glorious day today, Sunday, and be a blessing and make your day and my day count. So today's word, as I have, well, I'm going to say it another chapter, another verse. Today's word is about how we take things in this world the way we appreciate things, the way we take things, the way we panic, and this is how it is. So we must accept accept life as on its own terms. Life has a way of, of unfolding, not as we will, but as God will. Sometimes there is little we can do in life. There's little we can do. In life to change things around sometimes we think oh we can do things we can automatically use our hands to change to change things around or use our mouth to change, change things around in this world it's not possible because God have the only God is the only solution to everything God is the only one can change things around and turn things around for us so some Sometimes we must give it to God and trust that he will intervene and make a way when there seems to be no way. When events trans in transpire that are beyond our control, we have a choice. We can either learn to trust and learn on God or we can make ourselves miserable as we struggle to change the unchangeable so this is how world is people sometimes go over the limits go to an extent go to a lot of ways to twist things around and think that they can automatically turn the clock around to suit with what they want but there is always a reason why things are of happening in our life sometimes bad things happens for good reason because if the things did not happen you will never have a success in your life because through temptation through trials there's always be a testimony that is how God unfolds things in our life in the way he wants because if you sit down in one place and there's that door has been shut and you keep continuing to sit down. You don't go out of the door. That door has been shut against a lot of things. And God is asking you to get out of that place and go to the open door. Instead of you to get out there and leave that shut door, you're still standing behind that door. And everything that was shut is still within with, with, with you. When the door was open, God asked you, get out of that room and let me shut all the bad things behind instead of you to move out you keep on stuck in that same door and then the things are supposed you're supposed to walk behind and leave them behind it's still with you so that is how god wants you to move on with things and don't try to change situations around with you because when god decides to bless you he will turn everything to be in your favor and that favor will still be there nobody can change it and also, we must entrust the things we cannot change to God. So, you can be stuck in one situation in life. And when you ask God, please God help me with certain things in my life, God is surely going to help you. He's not going to let go. He will continue to bless you. So, pray and let God take care of your situation. Don't bang on that kind of things and go on and on. Look forward for the answers and trust in God for his timely answers to our pray prayers because God is a living God. God knows everything about us. So God is always, always there. 
in terms of problems in our life god is always there to help us so that is the situation when when we leave everything in god's hand god will take care of it and also you cannot also dance with the devil and hold hand with god it's not going to work you got to leave the devil behind and walk with god you have to make a choice in your life also we can prayerfully and faithfully tackle the important work that he has placed before us doing something about the things we cannot change and doing it sooner rather than later how change our lives would be if we would only fly through the days on wings of surrender and trust so once you surrender everything to god and also you trust god in his own timing that will be a good change in our life that will change our life around and then he will also do things for us and also take control not putting everything in god's hand and then you are still dragging going on and trying to withdraw it and want to make use of your own knowledge without letting god control it or take care of the situation and also we have to have a prayer about being impatient that god should give you peace because some people are so impatient and become distressed not even waiting and then they don't have peace in their side in their body all is worried worried panicking so we should pray that god should give us patience so that with patience we have ability to tolerate everything and then we can have peace of mind and when we pray that when we change when we face circumstances that we cannot change god should help us to accept the things that we cannot change and give us courage to know the difference so in all things great and small let us trust in god and have a wonderful day and please do not forget to subscribe to mrs always right channel and have a wonderful day and Bye. Thank you for watching.